Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is another fun pick a card video and uh, it's all about your soulmate, okay? What does your soulmate look like, their characteristics, um, their zodiac signs, as much information as, as I can get here. I will also use the charms to get uh, maybe initials, any other information that can come up and help us out. So maybe you can identify and know for a fact that uh, the person that you meet next or the person that you are with is your soulmate already, okay? So just to help you out to know who they are or to get to know and for a fact that it's them when you finally meet, okay? So it's just any help they hear that they can get. And I will also try to get here, depending on what is going to come out on the cards, I put my intentions that what is coming on the cards is going to be some of the characteristics of their looks as well, okay? Their physical looks as well. So I try to get some information here. See, we'll see what we'll get here. All the decks have the same amount of cards. There are quite few cards here today, but um, just the backs are different here, but the same amount, okay? And like I said, the charms as well. So this is going to be group number one. You can see here the planet cards is bluish color. Number two with the zodiac sign cards is the purple pink color and the house cards the green number three okay so group one two and three the timestamp will always be below as well as a way for you to support this channel or if you want to have the cards for yourself all the details will always be on the description below and if you're not yet consider subscribing i add videos nearly every day to this channel and i'm also having loads of lives as well live readings so if you're subscribed to me you get a notification when i'm coming live okay because i don't have a specific day i come as much as i can so and if you are coming back and you are already subscribed to me thanks very much for your support it means a lot to me so thanks very much for coming back and if you're not yet consider subscribing okay normally i say go with your gut feeling your first choice is most likely the right one if you have someone in your life you want to think about them and then pick a card if you don't have anybody just uh, pick a card and then maybe you can recognize if this person is already in your life or recognize them as soon as you meet them okay so how does your soulmate look like and not just physical okay characteristics as much information as i can again guys group number one two and three times down below thanks for watching group number one if you chose the planet cards the blue box like i said i have few cards here so we'll see what they get we have a relationship with a dominant individual. Interesting. Let me put this one here. We have an athlete. I will read all the messages, okay? We have light and shadow side in these cards here, which is really something I was looking forward to get. And I have some tarot cards, the Nine of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Also, I have surrender. I read all the messages that I have in a bit. Imagination. I have Libra and I have Mars. Okay, interesting. And I'll get the the charms in a bit. Okay. Straight away here, guys. Uh, starting with this message here, you can see here. This is a relationship with a dominant individual. Okay. So this is going to be someone that has a strong character. Okay. It's not someone that. Uh, it's easy that you will easily uh, get to persuade to do what you want okay there will need to be a lot of uh, communication here because this is someone has a strong head okay they know what they want they go for what they want okay and this could be an athlete okay in uh, in a sense that maybe this is something that they do as a professional but also is an athlete in general here with the characteristics okay because the message here with the athlete the light side of the light attributes is dedication to transcending physical limits including uh, handcuffs a development of personal willpower and is strength of spirit okay this is really a strong person okay this dominant individual uh, here is really connected i feel like this athlete here will be for some of you their career as well but it is also how they are okay the the way that they take care of their physical and their mental okay very strong here they look for the the, to build up the strength okay dedicated to transcending the limits okay if there's any there is no limitations for them okay they go for what they want and then 
they could be tired but they will keep going through the limits okay this is someone who has a uh, male or female guys whoever you're thinking now this is someone who takes care of their body okay this is someone who goes to the gym or they have some kind of sports they at least minimum minimum there's someone who walks uh you know go, goes for walks they take care of their body so i feel like it's important for them taking care of their body and maybe food as well okay so diet in general and this is someone who, who takes care of themselves okay and the shadow attributes it's misuse of athletic abilities for self selfish ends false sense of invulnerability and entitlement okay again with that dominant okay they have a hard head and when they go to the shadow side they can go to a bit of extremes like we all need this balance right so that's why you're there as well as their future partner here they're so made to help them all right so they will help you and you will help them here so this is um this false sense of invulnerability because I feel like they're strong, okay? Physically as well, there's someone who is strong and they can feel like they nothing will affect them, okay? Maybe they they will feel like they don't need to do uh, to maybe get a vaccine for something, or maybe they believe that they don't need they will not get sick or that kind of thing. Like always in they feel like they're very strong because they believe on themselves, okay? There's some self-belief here, which is a good thing, confidence for sure in this person, but then they can go to the extreme as well. But the other side is very important, okay? They they go beyond the limits, okay? They don't give up easily. This is someone I definitely takes care of their body. They have a physically this is someone who has a good body, okay? And um I, I put my intention to see that any details of the cards that I was going to show here, it was going to be similar to their physical bodies, okay? So I feel like this is a person, male or female, okay guys, take what resonates, of course. This is someone who has dark hair, okay? Gray hair for some of you, okay? Beard, if it's, if it's a male, okay, for some. And uh, uh, most likely white skin, okay, like a, more on a on a clear side for some, okay? And uh, some may be a little bit tan, like this guy here, but uh, white, okay? White and tan, and like a little bit of a tan, but um, taking care, maybe because they are outside and uh, doing exercises, that kind of thing, they get that tan, but uh, they, are, they are more on the, on the fair side, and I feel like dark hair, okay? And uh, even some of you that uh, are already older will have someone that, uh, has a uh, grayish okay like uh, this this hair here similar to this guy here with beard as well okay if it's a, if it's a male if it's a female okay in any case this is someone who, ha who has a good body okay they take care of themselves there's someone who exercise goes to the gym most of them and uh, if it's a female here i feel like this dark hair as well okay dark hair that's the things that are coming to me here, okay, guys. The, but jumping here to the tarot cards, uh, we do have the Five of Pentacles. So this is someone that I feel, again, connected here because of this strong head. They may uh, find harder to find the, sometimes the solutions of things when it's not going their way, okay? They, sometimes it's just very easy. Something is not that hard, but because it's not going exactly the way, they don't see... The solution right there they could be right there okay maybe feeling a bit of self-pity at point and not seeing the light but not uh, all the time okay guys i feel like this could happen okay because we're looking here all the characteristics of this person as much as possible so that's why you're there to play your side as well and help them out right and i do have here this um the nine of cups and the king of swords so i do feel here with these tarot cards that uh, this is someone who was a single for for some time okay and was happy out maybe traveling maybe doing their own thing for a while happy in that single energy happy with uh, whatever was around them okay building things up but some emotion as well okay have gone through some things and maybe this five of pentacles here represents where they come from as well okay the things that would have gone through their lives and it was not always easy you know that kind of situation that they had to overcome a couple of things and um like the king of swords here cutting away things that didn't serve so i feel like right now they this is someone who is very confident and they communicates very well okay with uh, the, like the king of swords communication is important here and uh, so they are not afraid of cutting away something that's not serving just uh, because it will they will achieve their goals because again there's someone who doesn't give up easily so 
they are not afraid that you cut away and go for what they, they need here, okay? Imagination here, the message is, I embrace and nourish the, creati the creative aspect of my mind. And again here, the mind, I feel connected with the King of Swords, okay? The, the, the King of Swords is really connected with the mind, and I feel like this mind here plays this, um, make them very strong here on this, you know, strength of spirit as well, okay? Like this is uh, someone who is strong, not just physically, but mentally as well. Not because it was always like that, but I feel like they have gone through some battles and that's how they are right now, which is a good thing. Like they're growing up with their, the situations, the lessons from their lives. And uh, surrender here, I can release my need to control. And I feel like this is, could be similar here to the king of swords again cutting away things and say like if i have to take go, cut away surrender and um, you know i'll go for it but i don't think it was always this easy okay it's not like i release the need to control the, the need to control was there and the, there's something i feel like they battle a bit because this is a dominant okay this is a hard-haired person okay this is i feel like connected here with the fire and you can see here the fire of mars okay your physical energy drive strength and fighting spirit very much similar to the athlete here right guys this is really important on their lives okay their physical being strong mentally and physically okay driven okay they have this that uh, that drive as well for life for doing what they want physical energy okay no doubt this is a strong person mentally mentally and physically we also have the libra so i do feel like this could be a libra sign or maybe just the air sign okay so it could be gemini or aquarius another you know one of the the air signs right so i feel like it could be gemini libra or aquarius but most likely a uh, libra right but this air sign here again connected with the king of swords okay with the the air which which is connected with the mind that strong mind as well and this energy is diplomatic and gracious it seeks harmony and balance in relationships Again, looking for that balance, okay? So the, the balance is important for them. I don't think it was always that easy, but it's something that they are developing, okay? Trying to bring balance because I feel like they know when they go to the shadow side here of being selfish or being feeling like they don't need the, anything, they're so, so strong. I feel like they have gone through some battles with that and they have learned along the way, okay? That was not always that easy. So I feel like they use into the right directions now but i don't think it was always like this right but uh this is someone who is strong okay and this is a good looking person okay male female someone who takes care of their body like i said mind and body here very strong okay not that it was always like this but uh, definitely something that they have been working on i do have the charms here i wanted to add some charms here see what else we get okay maybe get some more signs or initials sorry about the noise guys you know how it is here with all this map channel okay just bring in a bit closer here for you to see we definitely have the ring here okay there's someone who wants to commit and uh, most likely soon we also have sagittarius here okay so there's an energy of sagittarius here so maybe it's you maybe it's is them as well okay we also have courageous here the courageous is on the side of aries so but it's showing on the courageous side so definitely someone who has courage okay again connected with this confidence here of you know the libra and mars uh, ruling we also have here someone who sees things clearly and i feel like with like that king of swords like using the mind over emotions here I have some in, like letters, maybe it could be initials. We have A, E, and I. A, E, and I, okay? So it could be initials. Maybe it's your initials, you know. Like always take right away on it. Definitely transformation. You can see here the butterfly here showing the transformation. And um, you know, hard, working hard, working hard here like the B. And uh, yeah, wisdom. Okay, someone who is manifesting things. Definitely wisdom here, okay? And, um, yeah, holding on to to the, to the things that they can, to, like, um, find the strength as well, okay? Inner strength as well, okay? Yeah, someone who has had maybe some kind of wake-up call, okay, at some point. 
um maybe it was like because of the things that they were doing maybe going to some extremes but they some kind of wake up call at some point and then things change it and they were able to manifest more and understand more about who they are yeah but definitely the transformation period here in this person's life okay very interesting here yeah but courageous for sure courage confidence is really playing a part here in this person all right so this is no doubt someone who is confident here and um, maybe because they do have this side of the taking care of themselves which is very good right i feel like taking care of healthy things is important for them okay but that's what i have here so remember sagittarius and um, the courage of aries is here too so maybe it's connected with that libra okay the air sign but no doubt here this okay guys physically if you wanted to think um, how they look like uh, physically no doubt that this is a strong person okay physically and mentally as well but like i said i put my intentions to see whoever was going to show, to show in the cards if there was any uh, person showing it was going to be similar to, to for me to pull something from the cards right and i and i can see here like this darker dark uh, dark hair okay strong maybe clear more more on the clear side skin maybe a little bit tan but uh, more on the lighter side remember that and um, yeah that's what i see here guys someone who's really strong okay you will have to really communicate here because this is a strong uh, personality okay so communication is very, very important and it is important because of i feel like this king of swords and the libra plays very much here so communication bringing balance into things okay there's emotions here too okay guys but emotionally i feel like very stable very stable not that it was always like this i don't feel because there's transformation with the charms and everything else going on there too so i feel like that was some kind of transformation that they changed into who they are right now which is very good okay i feel like this transformation really changed changed them and um, made them surrender as well control okay there's not as much as maybe they were before or if you're meeting this person and they they're young okay there's still some transformation there but if you're meeting them and they're a bit older depend of you know your own age uh, who you're looking for okay older i feel for some of you it's already going through some transformations and battles that make them who they are right now and it's uh in a better place okay that's what i have here group one it's very interesting i try to get as much information as i can but pay attention to that okay the signs as well initials anything that can help you out and this is what i see here with the physicality okay no doubt someone who's strong physically and mentally good looking for sure taking care of their bodies their health very much is important for them okay let me know if this helps you out if you have someone already in your life or if you recognize them in case you you have them or in case you are you're not together but you know who they are you know guys take what resonates like always and let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching group number two if you chose the beautiful zodiac signs the purple cards here we have here caring and kindness that's lovely also the lover i read all the full messages in a bit some tarot cards the ace of cups the eight of cups the knight of swords also pride and courage also we have the eight house and we have capricorn Okay, interesting here guys so straight away you can see carry and kindness okay and this card here was really to show um how they are in general okay and this is a caring person and it's a kind person okay which is lovely and just so you know guys i put all my intentions to have here showing the physicality of this person because i wanted to know not just uh, you know characteristics but physical uh, details and i put my intentions to have the physical information coming on the cards okay just so you know where i'm coming from with the information and we do have the lover here and the lover have the light these cards have the light and shadow side so the light attribute here is great passion and devotion and bridal appreciation of someone or something okay this is that person who would definitely be in love with you and dedicated to you okay like they are the lover and like they have that passion their devotion to someone they love okay there is no chance this person is gonna look at someone else okay they don't care at all about the other person okay it's all about you and bridal appreciation okay when they love they love with all they they have okay this is someone who would really be dedicated to you 
Shadow attribute is obsessive passion that harms others. Self-destruction, destructive devotion. Okay, it, it really it, it can go to the extreme, right? Like everybody have the light and shadow. This is when you play your part here, helping them to bring that balance. So, and they they could be a bit of that obsessive uh, side as well, okay? Because they dedicate so much, they are blind in this um, situation. They like when they love, it's it's like 100%. There's no looking back, and it's a bit of an obsessive side as well at points, okay? And uh, that's when you know you, the communication will play the part there, and you two will be able to bring things in a better place. Just the light and at shallow attributes, like everybody has, right? So they are this lover, okay? So passion for sure, okay? Dedication to you. And um, also I have here, the, the these are the tarot cards, right? We have the Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. With the Knight of Swords here, I do feel like there's someone who runs after what they want, okay? They don't give up easily. And I feel like connected here with this lover. Like when they they love someone, when they love something as well, when they are dedicated to something, they give 100%. So they don't give up easily. They run after what they want. They cut away whatever needs to be cut away, okay? And they don't give up easily, okay? Which is good, right? Resilience is there. And... Um, the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. There is this side of more emotional, okay, with this person. They needed to work a little bit on their emotion side, okay? And they would have gone through some kind of situation that they had to just let go of a situation and move to a better place, okay? That could be uh, their situation then. It could be a previous relationship. It could have been a family issue. But they had to leave things behind and it, it has been an emotional situation in their lives okay it was a really a transformation period that they had to let go of something they knew in their hearts that they were doing the right thing okay you, you don't know who you're thinking there maybe someone who had a previous relationship you know guys take what resonates like always but like this eight of cups they left something behind and they are in a much better place now okay this like they have gone through the light okay they follow the light their heart and they are in a better place now um you know, thinking they, they made that decision knowing that in their heart they were right, okay? So they left something behind. It had been an emotional situation in their life, okay? But they they have gone through that because they trusted, okay? So intuition was important here. They trusted the door that was opening for them. So this is someone who who have some intuition here, okay? They, they trust their intuition. And what I was um, putting my attention here is that anything that I was gonna show here on the cards for me was going to be similar to their physical appearance, okay? So if this is a guy for you, it would be someone who would be, I feel here, similar to this guy here, okay? On the slim side and um, a little bit of a, a darker skin, okay? You can see here some tan there dark uh, dark hair okay because i see her dark hair here and here if it's a female okay similar to this one here the, the hair is dark but a little not so dark okay it's like uh, maybe light brown okay not not too too dark this hair here but the skin there is a bit of a tan there on the skin maybe it's a sun tan but i feel like more is the way that they are okay this is a uh, have someone who has a tan has a bit of a skin color here beautiful um color here okay similar to this guy here okay similar to this girl here if it's a girl right but darker hair for the guys i feel and not so so dark for the girls okay like a little bit clear like this one hopefully you can see here what i mean just like a little bit of a lighter brown okay but a little bit definitely someone who has a tan okay and um that's because I put my intentions here, okay, guys, that I was going to see something here on the cards that would be similar to how they actually are, okay? And uh, we do have here pride as well. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I feel like they got to this place here where they actually have uh, some pride of who they are, where they are in life, okay? And I feel like because they left something behind and they finally proud of themselves, they finally proud of what they did as well, leaving things behind because I don't feel like it was easy. So they have that pride, that self-love that I feel like they develop it, okay? With some time, with the things that did happen into their lives that they had to work on. And I feel like they finally in a place where they have some pride and some self-love, okay? And courage as well. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And I feel that's like what they did 
with uh, leaving this behind here like the eight of cups okay they needed courage to do that and there was inner strength that they had to use very much and then someone that had to use this so that's how they they feel now they feel like they they have pride of what they, they are proud of what they did okay leaving this behind and also they know that they have courage they know that they have this inner strength now so they are more confident now that they were before okay i really don't feel like it was always like this because this is someone who cares a lot and has this kindness so i feel like leaving things behind was never easy okay whatever this this was they really had to pull this inner strength and um we do have here also Capricorn, okay? So this could be the Earth sign, right? So it could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And the message here is the energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows this shrewdness and cautious ambition. So this someone has this ambition, right? But it's a cautious ambition. So there's not like they jump into everything without thinking. I feel like there's a lot of thinking before doing things here. There's a lot of, like the... The feet is on the ground, right? Like the Capricorn here, it's like this earth connection. So they think twice before making decisions. Really leaving things behind here would have not been easy, right? And the eighth of house here, the eighth, the eighth house is dominant here in this person's life, which is, you see here, this transformation, this transformational area of your life is about uh, shared resources and intense emotions. And look, this is someone here, you can see here, the, the rings here. This is someone who really values uh, marriage, okay? They wanted to to be with someone here. Transformation area in the life is um, intense, okay? So intense emotions. I feel like they live intensely, especially with this lover uh, attribute here as well, okay? And the emotions play a part, okay? They have to... I feel like they are more calm now after, okay, after this, because there was some kind of learning curve here for them about their own emotions and they are they are, like i said they have pride of you know where they are right now because they had to use courage and inner strength but i feel like it was not easy okay because there's a lot of emotions here there's someone who values like a marriage very much if there's someone who had to leave a marriage behind it was not easy okay they really thought way way too much before doing anything but um i feel like they are happy where they are right now okay and um like really thinking twice um the energy is there okay and but it's serious as well this is someone who has that uh, fun side but uh, they they are serious they value the things that they have they value their accomplishments okay they understand where they are because hard work here okay so someone who's hard work for sure so things have not just fallen into their lap okay that was hard work put here yeah very interesting here guys remember the characteristics here what i'm, I'm finding but what i will take now is the are the, the charms okay and sorry about the noise you know how it is here with the charms i'll take some charms let's see what we get here okay okay just bringing a bit closer here we have some letters so maybe it could be your initials their initials okay a f also J, okay. K A F J. We have the ring here. You can see here proposal. See marriage again here. Very very important for this person. Okay, the marriage life. Okay, having that union with someone. And we see here the the eight here fell. I feel that it felt here on the because it's kind of in between here the earth and the fire you know because i'm just uh, playing these like the the tarot cards i do feel here more on the eight of earth which would be the eight of pentacles because is that hard work okay and i feel like very much connected here it's saying here hard work and the eight of pentacles is that hard work like seeing the result of the hard work that you know slowly and see here they have this this side because it all fell here on the on the cupid here so i do feel like they have this romantic side okay the lover side is there when they dedicate to someone they really go for it and i feel like this double um cupid here is showing that okay this is definitely someone who see the light at the end okay this is like two this is like the sun okay the happiness finally coming in their life and they saw the light at the end of the tunnel this this is the light after some dark okay definitely someone who is wiser now 
You see, they have to had to go through the transformation. You see, the, the transformation is here. Wiser for sure now. More freedom, okay? And they were able to get more freedom into their lives. Flexibility as well, okay? And, um, yeah, no doubt, inner strength. I feel like they can take care of themselves, okay? Taking care of mat materialistic things as well. Like, make sure that they have food on their table is important for them. We also have the tree here of cups, okay? Which is like the tree on the water side here, the tree of cups would be that celebration time okay so i feel like this is how they feel right now they can celebrate okay their accomplishments they're looking back not that they're not doing anything anymore but they feel like they they that's why i feel like that pride okay they have pride they're proud of who they are right now of their accomplishments everything they had they had to fight for okay because it has always been some hard work here so yeah definitely someone who's wiser now okay they have the they have gone through everything that they can like in a strain they had to really play and i feel like they did someone who really is caring and kindness here yeah, i feel like they are kind to other people as well okay they are always um there to help someone friends as well if someone needs a, a helping hand they are there for them okay yeah that's very interesting here that's what i see here guys important for them to to have like food on the table money some money saved okay some kind of um security maybe because that's not how it was for them in the beginning like i said there were some emotions they were leaving things behind and they they had to fight for it okay they had to work hard but that's what i see here yeah definitely a light at the end of the tunnel definitely much much better now than they were before okay but still working hard they still growing still evolving someone who it's happy where they are but they know that this is not it there's still more to come okay some obstacles on the way they they know how to fight for it okay yeah remember here guys the signs that are coming okay the letters initials and uh, remember here the the earth sign okay could be capricorn specifically but it could be one of the other earth signs and um no doubt he had some emotions, all right, that had to play here part very important on their lives. But I feel like they are in a better place now, guys. Okay, they have more courage in their lives. Remember, this is the lover, okay? This is someone who dedicates to you, who would be really caring and, and kind to you, okay? But they have this side, okay, of protection as well, I feel, with uh, having things like make sure they have savings and, uh, you know, they can be there for you. Yeah, that's what I see here for your group too. Interesting here. Remember here how he looks like, how she looks like, okay? I feel like it could play a part of how they look like physically as well. And um, just to help you out, okay? Guys, that's how I put my attention into how they would look like, okay? Remember some darker hair for, for male and maybe a little bit of a little bit clear for female. But yeah, more on strong, okay? Strong for sure that's what i see here okay group two i hope it helps you out like always take what resonates and let me know if you recognize this person if you have someone in your life or if you have you had them and you separated but they are your soulmate or if this is just to help you out to meet them soon enough okay okay let me know guys if it helps you and as always leave me a comment and i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching group number three if you chose the house cards the green cards here Let's see what does your soulmate look like. We have uh, flowing with serenity. That's nice. We have the artist. I read the full message in a bit. Some tarot cards, the full, the ten of wands, and the four of pentacles. We also have happiness, humor. We have the fifth house and we have cancer sign. Wow, very interesting here, guys. It's straight over here. Okay, just make sure you see everything. You see here we have flowing with serenity. So this, you know, is the calm person, okay? They have this serenity. It may not have always been like this, but this is someone who is, in general, they have this calm personality, right? So this is someone who thinks before they they speak, okay? They have uh, that side that is serene. Maybe people trust them to ask them advices or come to them, okay? They could have some friends that uh, come for uh, for help, advice. I feel like there's someone 
uh, that the other people trust as well. And we have the artist side, okay? And this is the light attributes and shadow attributes of the artist. And I feel like artists here could be their profession for some of you, okay? They have this artistic side at least, and art in, in some way, shape or form is at least a hobby for them, okay? Art is important, okay? Beauty in their lives, okay? They have that uh, light attribute here, which is expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. Again, that's what I'm saying here. Like, this is someone who has that side, okay? That interesting side that, like I said, really inspire others as well. Like I said, with serenity, with people coming to them, they inspire others. This this is not the only thing. They don't see life only with these five senses, right? They have these symbols is important. The artistic side is really important for them. So they could be an artist, okay? Like a profession or at least, at least a hobby here. Some kind of art, okay? It's important. The shadow attribute of that is using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. Okay, so maybe they have that side as well. That's when you come in with uh, your balance, okay, helping them out because we all have light and shadow. And this is, you know, when they go to extremes, like we all uh, can do at some point and, you know, end up in a place that we are not happy with, they could go for that side of having excuses okay because they have this talent or posing as a you know having some self-pity there for people to feel sorry for them that kind of situation as well that can happen okay but in general this is the artist side okay that they have like this attribute of helping others of seeing beauty in things and not just five senses okay inspiring others okay to see things in a different way which is very nice okay we also have the the tarot side here, okay, I have the cards here, which is the four of pentacles, the fool, and the one, the ten of wands. This is here interesting, okay, because I feel like um, with the fool, this is someone who would, uh, especially with this artist side, I feel like very connected, jump into, into an opportunity, okay? They would um, um, think twice before trying something new, going for something new, okay? And they, they just go for it. They don't look back. They don't think of the negative, the negative things that could happen. Okay, if there is an opportunity, okay, with a job or with uh, doing something different, doing something artistic, it could be, they would jump for, for it, okay, without thinking much. And they would work hard for it, okay? Ten of Wands here is someone who really works hard. It's not because they jump for it and they don't care about anything. They would really dedicate. There's a dedication side here, okay, working hard, pushing until they, they reach what they want. And the Four of Pentacles here really showing that today, they are they take care as well of the money side okay maybe holding back too much at points but i feel like they, it's important for them to save a little bit to have some kind of um, security just because uh, i feel like they know that they could be impulsive at points and um, they can go for something that uh, it could be fun for them so i feel like they save a little bit just thinking not too ahead but i feel like because they want to achieve things okay it could be someone who's a little bit jealous as well okay on a relationship not uh, anything extreme here because the artist side is very fun as well so a little bit okay we do have the humor here as well and uh, i choose to focus on the lighter side of life and i feel like this is very much connected with the with the full card okay that light side not seeing things very seriously the artistic side okay and i was going to check here as well guys uh, that um, what i put my intentions on is that uh, any body that i would see here like um, the on the pictures i was going to be drawn to something that would represent them okay physically because obviously there's no st not something specific here but that's how i put my intentions on so i'm being drawn to this person here okay male or female okay guys doesn't matter just take what resonates like always i feel like this is someone who um has a lighter hair okay but i'm not being drawn to this skin color here I, i'm being drawn to this skin okay so i feel like uh, more on the tan side for some but with the clear hair for some reason okay so this is a, a mix here a combination here the hair is a bit lighter but there is some tan on the skin the female if it's a female it's more tan than a male okay that's how i'm feeling here okay like this female here okay they, they both have this beautiful tan here so i feel like it would be similar enough to to them okay like uh, this lovely tan 
and uh, but I feel like if it's a male for some reason the male in I'm um, it's a little bit lighter the hair okay the hair a bit lighter but definitely with some kind of tan okay maybe it's a sun tan but there is some kind of tan and um on the lighter side of the hair i feel for some reason okay that's what i'm being drawn to and maybe even lighter greenish eyes okay because there's loads of greens here and i didn't get uh, so much of that on the other kinds but for some reason i'm being drawn to this okay so i feel like the the light the eyes are a bit the lighter maybe green for some but on the lighter side okay um some light there okay on the eyes but uh, the skin more on the tan side for the female not so much on the male but clear hair that's what I, guys I'm, I'm just saying what's coming in my mind because i put my intentions into getting some physical uh, appearances okay so some physical details here as well and uh, so this someone has that humor okay guys so they choose to to see the light sides of things like i feel like they're full not uh, focusing on the negative okay they want to go for something they will focus on the positive they jump for it and the happiness okay i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path again guys you see happiness and humor this is someone who people would love to be around okay because they have that light side that serenity the humor the happiness this is someone who would be a joy to be a friend okay like bringing that positivity into your life i feel like they have this beautiful way of seeing life okay with this beautiful eyes here that this five senses beyond the five senses okay it's like they really bring something different into your life okay they have this humor and the happiness and again guys they have the fifth house here okay where you have fun again you see very much connected here guys you know that i don't pick and choose the cards the fifth house is ruling here where you have fun romance create things you are proud of again with the artist here is very much connected with the creativity okay and you see here guys i wanted to pay close attention here to the picture that she's drawing so i feel like if it's a male it could be similar okay if it's a female it could have this this kind of characteristic so just look into these pictures here because i feel like physically you will you will see this person okay and remember uh, take what resonates most with you if you are drawn to the to the tan skin if you're drawn to the lighter hair if you're drawn to this face here to the short hair okay i feel like that's what is to speak for you okay and so they have this creative side the romantic the fun very much connected here okay this is definitely someone who is fun to be around okay has humor this happiness this light this serenity okay this is this is someone who is light okay this is not someone who is um, affected by by the negativity and if they they had any i feel like they push through okay like the ten of ones here they they keep going they don't give up and we do have cancer sign so it could be a water sign okay guys so if it's not cancer specifically it could be scorpio or pisces okay but water sign maybe it's your sign okay but i feel like they have water sign this energy is emotional sensitive caring loving it may concern family a mother or a child so it really is showing here the emotional side okay they have this emotional side i feel like they're emotionally connected to to people to things the things that they love the art okay i feel like it plays very much the way they see life okay no doubt this is someone who cares about uh, others as well okay this this sensitivity they have this unique way of seeing life and they have this pers perspective okay um that um, will bring into the positive side of things like seeing the light on the on the negative things okay the glass half full okay that kind of of people who really see the positive or try at least to see the positive of things okay what i'll do i'll take some of the charms okay so i can get more information here guys you know how it goes with my charms here and sorry about the noise you know how it is just mixing here for you there was one that fell here too okay this one fell in the floor so okay the letter n let me just put this closer here for you to see so we have i s n o okay so it could be your initials their initials you know there guys i s n o okay okay straight away here i can see that this is showing on the the south node okay and it's showing on 
on the Aquarius here, okay? So the air sign. So I feel like the south node normally represents the things that you need to move beyond. So I feel like uh, the, with the air here, they may move beyond any limitations of communication, okay? So maybe with the emotion side here, maybe, you know, they they use that uh, and they need to make sure the communication is clear here of the things that they want. And we do have here Capricorn as well, okay? So it could be Capricorn here showing, so some earth sign here, so it could be your sign. We do have here like the rings, okay? So important for this person to connect here and, um, you know, have that uh, relationship with you. I do feel here like they have uh, become more flexible. I feel like this is a flexible person, okay, in general. And uh, if anything, they have become more flexible with the ears, if this is an older person for you. This is definitely someone who sees the light on things, okay, the light uh, side, okay, like the light at the end of the tunnel, okay, I feel like they, they focus on the light. Some emotions here for sure. Wisdom for sure with, uh, with time, I'd say. This is definitely someone who's wiser and has angels around, some protection, okay, inner, inner strength. Definitely that side of fun and romance is here too, okay. Someone who wants to build a house and you can trust. I feel like other people trust with that serenity as well here. I feel like people trust as well, can, can tell the stories, okay. And there's a message here, I don't know if you can see, but find the joy in the journey and i feel like again this joy connected with this humor the fun side of this person okay definitely someone who is a light okay wisdom is important here i feel like this is someone people trust people come for them for advice like uh, you know they 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 have that inner wisdom and i feel like with the serenity with the humor with seeing things in a lighter way, in a positive way. Maybe they do help others as well, okay? This art here could be anything, guys, that, you know, like always take what resonates. This art here, it could be a specifically art for some, like a profession, but it could be something that they are good at, okay? Some kind of hobby that uh, is different, okay? That could be helping others as well. I feel like winter, Christmas for some, if you celebrate Christmas is important. Okay, and winter time here could be something significant for you. Okay, hard work for sure. Okay, I feel like this represented here with the, the Ten of Wands. Okay, no doubt this is someone who works hard for what they want, but they see the positive things as well. Okay, they see the positive side of life, and I feel like they focus on that very much in order to progress to achieve what they want. Okay, guys, this is someone who. It's really a delight to be around, you know. Doesn't mean like they were always like this. I feel like it has been a progress and they have learned to be a better person now. Someone who sees the light at the end of the tunnel, so who sees the positivity, who focus more on the, on the good side than the negative sides, okay? Pay attention to the signs as well, the letters. That's what I see here. And focus on the things that uh, call your attention here to the physical as well. Because I feel like this is will call for some of you, okay? That's what I have here, guys. This is what I feel like your soulmate looks like. And like always take what resonates. Let me know if it helps you out in some way. If you recognize them, if you have them in your life, or if you're just looking to find them in your life. But again, as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.